Hi, we're here with Robert Brantley of Manor's Stocks at SHOT Show 2018. Robert, really appreciate you spending some uh, time with us. Glad to be here. You guys continue uh, to innovate and bring new products to market. And I know you've got some exciting stuff for 2018, so let's, uh, let's take a look at them. All right, first off, we have the uh, MCSCS, stands for Compact Stock. It's a uh, adjustable butt system. It goes down with a half inch pad from 10 and a quarter inch length of pull up to 13 and a half. Toolless, push of a button, adjust it nine different positions. Locks in pretty solid. I mean, it's a good combination of, of length and uh, stability that uh, really, uh, really like is just a piece of a button and lock it in, set it where you want and leave it. So, I, I mean, that would make, you know, as your, if it's a youth, uh, uh, situation right as if it's grow. a kid that wants to grow into it it'd work fine if it's a lot of law enforcement uh, uh, interest in it body armor backpack stuff like that you know you can you can set it to uh, the length you want you can collapse it to uh, stow it you know anything lots of possibilities with it so uh, we might be offering this in the t4a as well a slightly shorter version to uh, to allow this for mostly for length of pull not so much uh, to make it compact just for length of pull. And I would imagine uh, current owners could send stocks in and have them retrofit? Possibly. We're not sure on that. This one here is its own mold, the okay. CS. So it's not, it's part EH1, part EH4, part T4A. It's kind of a Frankenstein gun of uh, features that certain stocks had that, that people liked. So we kind of just combined it to, to make ultimate short hunting stock, tactical style stock, you know, a, a hybrid, okay. uh, different okay. uses. So people could call in and see whether it's possible. Yep, we're uh, we're taking orders for them right now. Okay. Just went live. Okay, terrific. So what else? What else do we have here? Lots of interest in the uh, Tikas. Lots of T3 shooters coming out. People want an option, so we released the uh, T3 mini chassis. It's just like the Gen 2 mini chassis, but obviously it's for a Tika. Uh, you can ignore the little nut here. That's to show off the Area 419 rail without bringing a barrel to action, but. We are offering it in the uh, PRS-1T and uh, the EH-1 Tika, uh, but it'll have a drop-in mini chassis, bolt in and go. If you want to run AI mags, you use this one. We'll have a model out uh, that will also use CTR magazines. It actually uses a CTR bottom metal. It goes right into it and uh, use your factory stuff and, and go. Yeah, as you know, a lot of entry-level shooters are, are looking at, at Tikas originally in the factory configuration and, and it would seem that uh, you know as they're ready to grow they don't have to change out their entire yep. rifle I mean that they, they could get something like this with with even a rail system and yep. they're they're not compromising anything yep Tika makes awesome rifles and I mean great for out of the box factory rifle and then as you as you want to add something you know it's a it's a great place to start so we've been happy with that all right what else We've kind of redesigned the uh, T2A. We come out with a T2A gap, and reasons want it. You know, a lot of people like the wide front ends, and they wanted something completely flat to use rails on, barricades, ride stuff. So uh, we changed that on. We added our new thumb shelf that we're adding to certain stocks. Uh, a lot of interest in people that's doing like free recoil methods and really wanted uh, a place to push their thumb, kind of to push there. We. We knocked the, the palm swell down just a hair because people were wanting uh, a little bit smaller palm swell options, so we chose this stock to do that on. So, I mean, this looks very similar to like the, the Tactical Elite as far it as... It is. Okay, okay. So, Tactical Elite is just a shell or color that we have or offer. Okay, great. Yeah, I mean, this, uh, this whole Gen 2 setup, I mean, they're just... So, we can, yeah. uh, if you want to light, the Tactical Elite shell is a great option, but if you want them heavy, we can we can add weight. We can make them heavy. A lot of people in competition want a heavier stock, uh, knock down some recoil. So it's you know if we need to add lead. We can add lead. We can we can get the stock up about as heavy as you want or as light as you want. And of course, like like all your products available in both left hand and right hand. And right hand, we only offer two models that are uh, designed for right-handed shooters. But I mean, they can be had the other way if you're willing to. Uh, deal with the, the issues. Okay, you know? all right, terrific. Like the T5A and the folder, you know, you can't put your bolt down on the folder and fold it left hand, but if you don't care about putting your bolt in, not an issue. Now here's something that's really exciting. I mean, you, you guys, I know, offer a, a number of different rail systems. 
I yes, mean, sir. Talk about it, a bit about this one. This is the Ingenuity Rail. So uh, Paul Poindexter designed this rail, and it's pretty much the Cadillac of most all the rails. It's no tools. I mean, it's just so you got a pretty much flat bottom if you don't want to run anything. If you want to use a game changer or something like that, you can go flat. There's nothing on it, but say you want to approach a square round barricade or something, you just uh, slide these things in, stop them wherever you want. They're rock solid, they pan. You can put like an angle on the front and, and uh, flat on the back. Something like that, they pan so you get on a, a barricade, they, they swivel with you. Yeah, both of them, I like the fact that the front and back swivels. I mean, they do. that makes a... And they have an accessory. If you want to run a Arca type tripod, like a really right stuff, you know, you slide that in there, tighten it up wherever you want. It locks up pretty solid. To me, the main benefit of it is the bipod. Oop. I mean, you know, you won't run the entire match with something like this. So usually your bipod will be nice. So typically you probably shoot it out there, but say you shoot up on some rocks or a barrel or something, you know, yeah. just roll it back wherever you want it at. Or, or like a parapet. I mean, just the, the ability to, to bring that bipod back on a, on, a, on a parapet. We can install these or we can just cut them and have you send in, uh, send in your stock and don't even need the rails now. We can install it. What we do is uh, obviously we inlet here to allow it to sit in it, but we uh, carbon line the barrel channel. We do a nice 135, usually straight cut, and we carbon fiber line it and that gives it any kind of strength back that you might have lost with cutting it out. And that way you can put it on a barricade, dig into it. I mean, these things are meant to be used and abused and not babies, so that way you can, you can yeah. get after it. I mean, I, I think that that's important to note because you know, when, you, when, you're, when you're cutting down the stock right here, what, what you all are doing is, is making up for it with, exactly. the, with the, the carbon fiber here. Oh, uh, we're adding more than we remove. So I mean, it should so, be so stronger. You're, 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 so your stock could come back even stronger, right? It should be, and the, yeah. the rail probably has some strength too. And and again, existing owners send them in, get them. So if you want to order it one uh, to have it cut and it just arrives ready to drop your rail in, you can have that. If you own it already, you can send it in, and hopefully around one one to four weeks, we can have it back to you, ready to go. It'd be nice if you could send the rail in with it, but it's not mandatory now that Paul gave us a few fitters to check and make sure everything lines up and, and works fine, you know, not an issue. And, and so the, the best way uh, for folks to, to get a hold of, of these stocks, I guess there are a number of ways that they can purchase them. Uh, if you want to purchase them, uh, the online stock builder is nice for a lot of people. The, uh, uh, you can call us on the phone, you can email us. I mean, we'd be glad to work with you any way we can. And, and I would imagine too, a lot of builders already have these in stock as well. Yes, I'm sure. And you know, and this here is a drop in ready to go with the mini chassis and all. Uh, uh, been real successful in competition, and a lot of people like them. Excellent. Well, Robert, we really appreciate you spending time with our audience, and we well, wish you the sir. best of luck at Chacho. We appreciate y'all.